Right, so here we go. This is my first ever packing video. I'm going to lay everything out here. I'm off to Zanti to go and meet friends. Hi, can't wait to see you in a few days. I've not been for mm, two years now. Really looking forward to getting back to my happy place. I do normally travel hand luggage anyway, but this is just to show you what I pack. I'm thinking of this as a little trial run because I have another trip coming up in November. More about that later. I'm not going to tell you about that now. Let's have a look. My first ever packing video. Okay, so a slight different view from here. All this in there. <laughs> no, I know it fits. Right, we will start with this side, which is where I put my towels and my clothes. Right, to start off, we have got the extra large Dockham Bay towel. This is a microfiber towel and I love it. I've had it for oh, a number of years, probably about five years now, and I love it. So that's going with me. Got that in the bottom. This is the Turkish towel that I bought. If you watched the vlog of me going to Menorca just recently, I bought this because I went for a really long walk and got burnt to a crisp, basically. And this is what I bought. So I thought I'm going to try and take this with me this time because it came in really handy. So I'm going to stick that on the bottom as well. I have three packing cubes. I will cut to a link now and show you what is in the packing cubes. These are the packing cubes. So in this one, I'm not going to go through it, but this is just underwear and swimwear. Self-explanatory. Don't need to go through all of that. Right. In the bigger packing case, I have... Let me take some of this out and then I can show you. I have my elephant shorts, black t-shirt. I will show you pictures as I go along. I have some leggings. I can wear that with this. This is from Rip Curl. It's a little dress, again. I'll put a picture up. I also have a pair of cycle shorts. Again, I can wear underneath the dress. I have a pair of exercise shorts, swim shorts. Love this t-shirt. I bought it really oversized. But it's so comfortable when it's hot. Classic white tee goes with everything. These are two new things. I bought them from Primark. Well, actually, my daughter bought it and I really liked it. So I went and bought. So I got it in the green and the salmon -y sort of colour. Right. This I have had for years and years and years. I bought it from Tesco's ages ago and it's a little play suit. The only thing, it doesn't have pockets. Why do you not have pockets? But it's really nice. Again, I put a photograph up. This one is from Amazon. It's a new one, little play suit with pockets so i've got this and i can also wear it with i bought this i think this was from george asda years ago um it's a little lightweight shirt i think you probably saw me wearing this in menorca as well but again it goes with this with a play suit i can put it with this dress it up dress it down brilliant piece right put those back in there next one so i've got the white shirt but i also bought it exactly the same in black brilliant absolutely love it this i bought in zanti i think it was the last time i went about two years ago but 
the two little tops from Primark. This looks lovely over the top of them. I then have this. I've had again. I've had this years. It's very very light. Just a nice little. It's a beach cover up. I've worn it out before for dinner. All rounder. This is my walking to and from the beach outfit. It's brilliant. You can just put it straight on over the top of your bikini and walk to and from. I pretty much wear this every day when I'm in Sakynthos. And I just get home at the end of the day, wash it out, hang it up, and within an hour it's dry. It's so lightweight, it's brilliant. And my go-to going out outfit, again, okay. it's so comfortable. Put it on. Lovely. And that is all the clothes that I'm taking. But you can mix and match quite a lot. So I've got quite a few outfits there. I think probably I've got too much, but it fits. So I'm taking it. So back to the other video. And we're back again. Packed up. Now I'll show you how they go in. The biggest one, I'll stick on the bottom. Just about fits. <laughs> the next one's a bit more squishy. This one will go at the top in there. It's a little bit like that game with the Tetris. That's what it's a bit like. Swimsuits in here. And my tripod. I'm gonna stick that down the corner. Will it go? Don't know. Hopefully. Right, I think that is about as good as it's going to get in there. Zip it all up. Next side. Right, with this bag, I'm going to put my shoes in first because otherwise they don't fit. So I have got the zero shoes absolutely loving them i do have two pairs i have these ones and i have these which are the cloud ones um i think i'm going to take these with me but i might take these too spends see if i can fit them in leave them there for now so these go in here and what's nice, these hardly weigh anything and they just slide in there beautifully. Zip that up and it keeps it completely separate from the rest of everything. Laundry bag. Don't know if I'll need it on this trip, but it always sits in the bottom. And I also have a dry bag. That again sits in the bottom, doesn't take any room. And it also protects the stuff inside, so that just lays on the bottom. Next is my Pride and Joy. I used this for the first time in Menorca, and it was brilliant. I do love it. It is my mask and snorkel. So that goes in. I know when you're going hand luggage only to take that, it probably seems a bit mad, but... I love going in, I love snorkeling. It's going in the bag. Next is a small towel. This is from, where is it from? Matador. Very, very small towel. We'll clip on the outside. I normally take another microfiber towel with me, but where I'm going in Zanti, I don't need it because they supply towels but I do take my beach towel with me. So this is going in. I then have my Eagle Creek foldable day pack. I will open this and show you because I love this. It folds in on itself. 
and then it's just the perfect size. These are slightly padded, not, <laughs> not particularly, but they are. They've got a nice big drinks mesh on the sides here. And then they've got this front zipper pocket with a little key hook, which is very nice. And on the front for security, it has a little loop here. I don't know if you can see. So these little toggles, you can just put through there and it stops it being opened. You can put both through. Um, just a little bit more security if you're walking around the town. It is very lightweight. It weighs nothing. But I have to say, I've bought some really terrible things, but this to me is one of the best. And you just fold it all back up into the bag, quick and easy. And then it's small, quite fat, and in that goes. Right, in here, this is, and it's got my little jumper in from Iceland, if you remember that from my Iceland vlog. Um, this is my bed time pouch, I suppose you would call it. So in here is everything that I would need to have by my bedside table when I go to sleep. This is a new thing I'm trying out. So it's got facial wipes, eye mask, a small first aid kit with paracetamol in it, etc hairbrush headlamp earplugs and more earplugs <laughs> never have enough earplugs tissues a hanky a pen a pencil this is for my Apple Watch. This is a portable charger, just in case I can't have access to a plug by the side of my bed. This will give my watch one charge. Stick that in. And these are some charging cables. I've got one for my phone, one for my headlamp, and a couple of others, can't remember what they're for, but they're in there as well, but they don't take up much room. They're just in the little case. And I have, I do have trouble sleeping now and again. So I have got this little pouch and it's got some little melatonin gummy bears in it, just in case I can't get to sleep. And that is everything that I'll keep on my bedside table. Normally in here as well, I will keep my toothbrush and my toothpaste, but that's still out in the bathroom because I'm obviously using that at the moment. But anything that I just kind of think that if I get somewhere and I need a little case and I just take that out my case, put it on the bedside table and I'm sorted for the night. Let's pop that back in there. Like so. And put that on the top in there. I then have, we'll do this next. This is my GoPro floaty stick. Self-explanatory. Right. <laughs> this is my bag of knickknacks. Take it everywhere. So in here, I have a, what do you call this? Washing line which is brilliant. I can put it, if I'm on the sunbed, I can put it on the sun umbrella outside. If I'm staying in a hostel, I can attach it to the bed so I can put some, a little curtain up. Multi-use, brilliant. Nail files, a girl needs a nail file. This is a wire 
thing. It does come in handy sometimes. You can tie things to your backpack with it, but it takes up no room. This is something else which I use when I'm on the sunbed in Greece. I hang this up on the sunbed. They're just two little plastic hooks and I just clip them over. And if I want to put my sarong, hang it up, keep it off the floor, these are great. Sewing kit. Soap saver. Straw cleaner. And water bottle clip, so I can clip that over the water bottle, clip that on the outside of my backpack, and I don't have to hold it. Again, just odds and ends that make my life easier. So, oh, that might go in the top actually. Check that in there. Last but not least is my little wash bag. This is non-liquid wash bags in here. So this is the inside and it also has a little hook. So I can hang it up. It's only a small one. So in here I have um, fabric washing leaves and this is shampoo leaves, just in case. Not used those before. There's a little mirror in there as well. This is a reusable cotton swab, which is really good. I was a bit skeptical at first, but actually it's really good. In here, I have my razor and replacement blades. I also have little face cleansing cloths. I'm back in there. Oh, wait. I also have one face halo that can go in there as well. I love those things. And in the bottom bit, I have. <laughs> I have this, but actually I have a face halo in here as well. Can never have too many. So that one can go in there. I've got another one of these, which is supposed to be breathable. I've not tried it yet. I'll get back to you on that. If anybody has used these, these are the travel buddies. And in here, there is a bar of soap. So it's not liquid. And in this one, I have shampoo and conditioner, bars of, and I have to say they smell lovely and they do keep my case smelling gorgeous. Wrap that up. Clip that together. And pop that in there like that. That goes round, zips up. This is the Eagle Creek Global Companion. I've had it while, it's a little bit dirty now. On the outside, I have a small microfiber towel. In this little top part here, I have food storage clips. So I have a large one, a medium, and a small one, just in case I need to seal a bag. This isn't staying in here, but I have a small purse with some euros in it. I have a rain mat. Oh, I have some color catcher sheets in case I do laundry so that the colors of my clothes don't run random. Oh, and I bought this when I was in Menorca 
and I still have it in there. I've not worn that yet, so they can just stay in there. It doesn't take up any room. That can all go back in there for now, along with that. I know where it is then. Um, in these two, they're random pockets on the front. They're like a bit of a weird shape. Don't put much in here. So I have got some hand washing leaves. I've got some plasters, some blister plasters. This, it's supposed to be if you get a bug bite and you put it on and you draw it up and it's supposed to suck out the bug bite, whether it works or not, don't know. Chuck it in there. I also have Yeah, just in case I want one too many drinks and then I need rehydration. And on this side, I have another pen, lipstick. This is just a little lipstick pencil thing. I don't wear them very often, but it stays in there. Oh, I have a spork. This one has got um it's metal but it's got lots of other bits on it whether it gets taken off of me or not i don't know but that's what i've got um what else is in here oh in this part here at the moment i've just got the case for my neck pillow and i have some tissues in the side pocket and that is my case. I'm sure I've forgotten something. There you go. Oh, I also have this little combination lock here because I can tie those together and zip that. It's good for hostels as well, locking up your bits. Oh. And I have a collapsible bag in there. Actually, not sure where that came from. My friend gave it to me. That's it for my big bag. And this is what is classed as my personal item. It is the Konkin laptop 13 inch um at the back here it's not in at the moment my laptop's over there um it has a laptop sleeve where i keep my laptop and important papers in here all i have is my headphones my little pouch for my cables etc probably all fall out now there we go that's that one I have a travel plug this one's quite good it does lots of different countries on the side here I also have my DGI pocket in here and lastly, just a small pouch with odds and ends of wires and cables that I don't use very much, but I like to take with me. Front pocket. Um, disinfectant wipes. Another rain mac. More disinfectant wipes paracetamol another lock um dab it off stain removal that's everything in there shove it back in on the side here i also have an umbrella which is also a sunshade i will put the details up on the screen there because i can't remember right now off the top of my head um so that's my hand luggage, that's my personal item, 
and I also have a bum bag. I bought this from Christiane, the solo shop. I have to say, big shout out to Christiane. Thank you very much. Really enjoying my solo bum bag. In the front here, a whole host, I have got a fan, perfume, more nail files, a pen, chapstick, Listerine breath fresh sheets. This is another thing for if you get a mosquito bite, you put it on the mosquito bite, push the button and it's supposed to stop the itching. Haven't tried it out yet, but we'll see. Another hanky. My C bands, because I do suffer from seasickness. More paracetamol. A little bank bag with some plasters in it. And in here, it's not what it looks like. I have got toothpicks and little tooth floss things because you shouldn't neglect your gums. I'll put that back in later. In the main compartment, I have my purse. I normally have my GoPro, but I'm filming on that at the moment. This is just the case to protect it. I have a collapsible straw. That's all I have in there. And in the back here, I have my passport. I will also put in here my sunglasses. There is also a little pocket here and I've got a couple of little small cables my Apple watch I just connect it to there and collect it to a power bank and I can charge my watch I bought this off of Amazon if I can find the link I will put it below but this is quite good and on this little key hook I've just got some hair bands just in case. Um, oh, I forgot in my main bag, tweezers, nail clippers, they are going to go in my wash bag in there. Knew I'd forgotten something. And that is how I'm going to be traveling to Zante. <coughs> personal item and a 40 litre backpack.